when we go to the about the journal section uh, shockingly and surprisingly we do not find any information hello prasthan channel members viewers and subscribers very good day to you all so i am really happy to meet you all once again this time with a very genuine review about a scopus index journal it is tuijin dishu it is translated as journal of propulsion technology in english so in this video we are going to find out whether this journal is really indexed in the scopus database or maybe whether scopus is pointing to a wrong website we'll also understand in this video about its submission processing or maybe publication charges with this particular journal and how much publication time it takes to successfully publish our article in this journal we'll try to find out how long will this journal remain in the scopus database so without wasting much of our time let us go straight into the genuine review of tuijin jishu so this is the journal we are talking about the journal is tuijin jishu journal of propulsion technology when we try to search in the google the first search result comes from propulsiontechjournal.com uh, when we try to uh, verify uh, the journal website actually we can find only this particular journal website we cannot find any other website so we believe that this should be the uh, genuine website so down you can see uh, the same search results also we have some search results from scopus from sci imago jr and other indexing databases have discussed about this particular journal so what we'll do we'll first of all go with the first search result so this is a uh, tuijin jishu journal of propulsion technology so they have mentioned that uh, this tuijin jishu is translated in english language as propulsion technology and they have given topics related to rocket propulsion aerospace space green advanced materials computational fluid dynamics and propulsion control systems so they have mentioned that this journal is indexed by elsevier scopus also ei compendex database google scholar doi crossref and so on they have mentioned that this journal comes under q3 quartile 3 of aerospace engineering with the sjr of 0.32 they also have given the links for copyright form and paper template and down you can see volume 44 issue number 4 uh, 2023 so down you can scroll down there are too many articles so you can see that they have mentioned the subject category to be uh, propulsion technology but you can find articles related to artificial intelligence maybe like education uh, we have some articles uh, out of uh, uh, spiritual beliefs on mental health and personality we really don't know uh, why they have published research articles that is out of scope so down if you scroll down there are too many articles which have been displayed so we really doubt uh, whether uh, the articles which are published in this particular website is really indexed in the scopus database or not when we go to the about the journal section uh, shockingly and surprisingly we do not find any information <laughs> when you browse through the archive section under 2023 we can find four issues which means that uh, this particular journal is a quarterly journal and when we browse through each of the issues we can find too many articles published in this journal i'm getting the feeling that uh, this journal is publishing out of scope uh, research articles because whatever is mentioned in the aims and scope is completely different to that of the articles being published in this journal so they have mentioned that this journal is uh, licensed under creative commons attribution license cc by so basically they say that they follow a double blind peer review process and there are four uh, decision making judgments like acceptance minor revision major revision and rejection when we browse through the contact we can find uh, uh, editor journal of propulsion technology there is one particular email id also support contact the same email id has been mentioned but we do not have a live google map location or maybe affiliation or maybe address pin code uh, maybe telephone number also some journals would try to display also shockingly i cannot find any editorial board section like editor in chief managing editor also the editorial board members with their complete orchid id or maybe academic email id or maybe research gate profile nothing has been displayed well about the journal website we can find some information while most of the information are really missing we are really surprised whether it is really a scopus index journal or not uh, anyway we will check with the sci imago jr sci imago journal rank so maybe you can search with the issn number or maybe the name uh, toijen jishu 
journal of propulsion technology so they have mentioned the country is china and the publisher is journal of propulsion technology and it shows that the subject area category comes under aerospace engineering uh, h index they have mentioned it as 24 i really don't know how they uh, calculate the h index okay issn has been displayed so down you can see uh, coverage 1991 till 2022 you need not have to worry because sai image jr only publishes one year before okay so down you can see uh, the scope of the journal information not localized which means that they are unable to verify the content which is published in the particular website so down you can see the quartile under aerospace engineering alone it comes under q3 quartile 3 okay so down you can see the two year four year and five year statistics of this particular journal and uh, many of them have commented on the journal website whether uh, this is really the real website or maybe is it a clone but some people have mentioned that it is a clone website while sai image jr cannot uh, verify uh, the particular journal website well we go to scopus.com so in the scopus.com we can click on sources and in the title you can enter to agent issue okay so you can get the search result so it shows that the scopus coverage years is from 1991 till present publisher name has been mentioned very clearly issn same issn number and aerospace engineering and we can see source home page is displayed when you click on the source home page it redirects to this particular website so which means that scopus is pointing to the exact website what we have reviewed earlier and uh, it brings us to the feeling that whatever paper is uh, published in this particular website gets indexed we believe it in that way okay so down you can see the scopus content coverage uh, like 2023 we can find 202 documents and down you can see 1995 and before uh, like uh, 288 documents so on an average you can see 100 about documents you can see okay and uh, very recently during 2022 we can find 535 documents and now it has been reduced even when you try to browse through one particular issue of that particular journal uh, there are too many articles and uh, we really don't know whether all the articles being published in this particular journal are really indexed in this particular scopus database even after visiting the scopus website we are uh, still not sure about this particular journal but anyway we will go to the master journal list so we'll go for mjl.clarify.com uh, master journal list or maybe web of science indexing database we try to search for two agent issue but unfortunately we are not getting the relevant search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the web of science database when we go to the abdc australian business teens council journal list uh, when we try to search for toygen jishu and maybe you can press enter you cannot find the relevant search result which means that there are no journals that match these parameters which means that this journal is not currently indexed in the abdc journal list but when we go through ugc care website okay there are group 1 and group 2 Uh, here you can see in group 2 they have clearly mentioned that scopus source list comes under ugc care list group 2 which means that this journal is listed under ugc care list group 2 about the processing or maybe publication charges when we uh, try to search in the journal website we are unable to get any information uh, so we try to search in the google so the name of the journal and processing or maybe publication charges we try to search in the google so we have got one search result so they have mentioned that this journal has a price of 2395 euro so 2395 euro is approximately 213833 which is uh, same as 2571 us dollars but when we try to enquire with the agents through the back door through the associations they are charging an amount of maximum 18000 in indian rupees or approximately 216 us dollars and they take maximum 2 days till 1 week for the publication of the article well we do not expect uh, this kind of uh, very fast track publication time with regards to a quartile 3 kind of a scopus index journal we cannot find editorial board information or maybe about the journal section in the particular journal website and we cannot find a phone number or maybe affiliation address about the journal in the website and the journal uh, the primary country is from china you know that uh, chinese journals primarily uh, write the contents everything in the chinese language and they will not prefer a english language but this journal has uh, uh, 
translated everything in the English language and we really don't know whether Scopus database has really identified that this particular journal is the real journal or not. Also we have no assurance that uh, whatever article has been published in the website are really indexed in the Scopus database. We believe that uh, uh, papers related to aerospace engineering only will be indexed in the Scopus database and I really feel that uh, this journal is similar to the European Chemical Bulletin. You remember uh, that in 2023 we had only three articles being indexed in the Scopus database while there are thousands of articles published in the website. So I believe that this particular journal uh, will not continue further in the indexing. So far as of 2023 it has been maintaining its standard but uh, I really don't know how long it will continue indexing in the Scopus database. As far as master journalist or maybe web of science indexing database is concerned, it is not indexed. In the ABDC journal list, of course it is not indexed. But of course, this journal comes under UGC care group too because this journal is indexed in the Scopus database. So if you have any clarifications, questions or queries, please share them in the comment section. So I believe you would have found this video much more useful. So see you then in another interesting yet another genuine review of Scopus, SCI, Web of Science or maybe Patents or maybe ABDC or UGC Care Group 1 or maybe Group 2 Journalist. Till then, collaboration.